enough times that it's now stuck in your head. You now have the melody. You don't need to necessarily know the words, but it also helps to have a song if you're going to learn it by ear. It should be a song with an easy tune, not something like Through the Fire and Flames, um, something that can sound like it could be played on the piano. Don't do anything with a lot of drums, because piano can't sound like drums. It should also be a song that you like. Playing by ear is kind of hard to do, and if you don't like the song, you won't stick with it, and it's just a waste of your time. Obviously, we're using Still Alive from Portal. The first step you want to do is the easiest part. It's just a single note melody line. So, for example, hum the first note. Search the piano until you find the right pitch, which is this. Then, from there, just kind of figure it out. There, see, that's the beginning. because it's my first time playing it. But you just want to do it until it gets automatic like playing regular piano. You don't have music in front of you to reference at all times. So you have to memorize it piece by piece until you get it right. Once you've gotten the, metal, the melody line figured out with just one note at a time, and it's, you know, you don't make too many mistakes, it's okay if you make some, but once you've pretty much got it figured out, you have to do step two. To make a to be known like me, I'm, as Pokey Guy David, as a person who can play by ear well, you can't just play Still Alive one note at a time. It doesn't sound that good. You have to play the entire song, which means you also have to use the bottom hand. So you have, to, you have to train your ear to be able to hear different instruments in different parts of the song. So you obviously know that in a guitar band, there's usually a regular guitar and a bass guitar. You have to be able to hear just the bass guitar or focus on the sound of the bass guitar to hear the bass sound. So in this song, it's pretty easy because the bass is kind of like part of the melody too. It's chord over and over. You can go like those are, that's just the notes being played. I played it like that so you could see better. But you don't want to have your hands like that. You always want to have like there's a little balloon underneath. That way your hands, your, your wrists don't get tired, your shoulders don't get slumped. You need to have better posture than that. To put the two, to put the two melodies together you need to know them both well enough so that you can do it without thinking. If you have to focus on just one of them, you'll screw up the other one and then you'll learn it wrong. You have to get good enough at it so that you can do this. is now officially still alive from Portal. And way more people are going to recognize it if you play the entire thing. And it will also be known as a much more advanced piano player 
if you can play by ear. Which, by the way, brings up another thing. Don't play by ear if you can't play piano really well anyways. I played piano for seven years before I started doing by ear, and it's still pretty tough. That, um, but I obviously take on pretty difficult songs if you watch some of my videos where I play... Like, songs that are really fast, songs that are really complicated. You don't have to do that. You can do Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. It really doesn't matter. Just start out with something basic, something that you like, and learn to play it without music in front of you. Step four is optional. You don't need to do this, but it makes it sound a heck of a lot better. And it basically involves two things. Um, dynamics, which is how loud and soft certain parts are. Um, and chords. So, which sounds better? This? Or? Like that. This is more, even more complex because you have to be able to make up a harmony. This requires a skill where if someone just played this on the piano, you have to be able to go and do a note that sounds good with it. I, said, I just hummed an E, and I knew that that would go well with the C because I have knowledge of music and scales, which you need to be able to do if you want to play by ear also. So the, the main thing is, is you can create the song to be even better. Obviously, it's presentable if you just play it like this, but it sounds better if you can add more to it and make it sound even better than that. So um, that is, of course, optional. You don't need to make it even more complicated than it already is, but it makes it sound a heck of a lot better, and it's the most rewarding. Dynamics is another thing. If you played um, a Bach or Mozart song, you know how they usually are loud, really loud and crazy, and then they're like soft and quiet. If you played them all with the same amount of power and the same amount of, uh, the same amount of uh, how loud they are, you know, if they're the same volume, it doesn't hold the emotion. Music is just poetry that you can hear that isn't spoken. It is like art that you can hear instead of just see. So you have to pour your emotions into it. That's what makes it good. That's also why you need a song that you like. If you don't like the song, you won't be able to put your emotions into it, and then it won't sound good. And once you have completed this whole process with whatever song you choose, you should be able to play it nearly flawlessly.